tell me why you'd never had it previous. I never thought about it. I'm not a person that goes to the doctor uh, if there's nothing wrong with me. 72-year-old Bill Starrett had never had a colonoscopy until last June. Given his age, his doctor recommended it, and what they found was alarming. Several polyps in his colon that had to be removed. Had I not gone then, another few months, it would have been cancerous. Colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of cancer death in Canada. This year, over 9,000 Canadians will die from it. The screening for those over 50 or with a family history is simple but intrusive. So it takes pictures on both sides. Enter the pill cam. So you can swallow the capsule, it takes pictures and looks for any polyps or abnormalities. Let me give you a bit of a comparison when it comes to these pill cams. Have a look. This one was developed in 2001 for the small bowel. It's about the size of a quarter. Enter pill cam for the colon, slightly bigger, and as you can see, there are two cameras instead of the one. And here's how it works. And then once it gets into the colon, which is where polyps form, it would start taking much more frequent pictures and sending these pictures to this receiver. It stays in the body for upwards of 11 hours, taking up to 100,000 pictures, and is then expelled naturally. And here's what a result could look like. On this corner right here, you can see a polyp tucked in behind one of these muscular folds. The small bowel cam received government funding years ago. This one is only in clinical trials, but Dr. Hookie hopes it will get the financial support it needs. Health Quality Ontario still has to review it. If it improves patient care and it's better value for money, we want to move on that. Often new technology not only improves patient outcomes, but reduces costs. Meantime, a message from Bill. Whether it be this new technology or a colonoscopy, yes. just do whatever you have to do. Dr. Hookie says screening for colon cancer in remote communities presents a challenge when it comes to logistics, expertise and cost. He hopes this new technology, the PillCam, will help bridge that gap. Melanie Ng, City News.